What's going on everyone? This is Adam from Green Auto Services. Now a little bit of an extra bonus footage on the Volvo XC90 um, that I did a video on previously. Um, there is another issue that the customer has asked me to address. Now um, there is a warning message coming on the dash. It says along the lines of um, engine service required. Now it hasn't brought on an engine management light, it just says the message. Um, the, the car's starting absolutely fine, it's driving absolutely fine, but they haven't had it before and they would like it addressed. So, um, the very first thing that I've done, I've actually stuck the um, diagnostic scanner on there and we've actually pulled some codes from the engine control module. Um, now the fault codes that came up are referring to glow plug relay faults and I'll get those codes for you up on the screen just momentarily. Um, from here onwards, um, very very commonly on diesels, you do need to check the glow plugs. They are designed to preheat the combustion chambers to a certain temperature to help it fire, particularly on the colder mornings. So from here onwards, um, I accessed them, I managed to get them out and we are now here on the bench to test them. Okay, here we go. So um, I've already been under the hood of the Volvo and I've actually managed to remove um, the five glow plugs. No, there, there is obviously one glow plug per cylinder. Um, so you do have to be very, very careful when you're removing these. Now, uh, they do have an 8mm nut on the end of them. So get an 8mm deep socket on the back of that with an extension and you should be able to just undo it. Now, please be very, very careful. God forbid, if these are to break into the, in the cylinder head, you are going to have a bad day and um, yeah, you're going to open up a can of worms. The best thing I can advise to do is to run the vehicle before you do anything, get it up to optimum temperature with the head nice and hot, um, the metal will ever so slightly expand and it should make it a little bit easier for these to come back out. From here onwards, we're actually going to measure the resistance. Um, so when current is uh, flowing through the glow plug, it will actually create the tip to become extremely hot. That will literally go bright red. Um, now, I know for a fact that each uh, glow plug should only have up to one ohm of resistance. So with the, my digital multimeter that I've got here, um, it's on resistance. And I'm just gonna get the pins. If you put your positive lead on the end and your negative just on the body, straight away we've got a reading. Now this one, this one's good. We've got 0.5 of an ohm, so that is absolutely fine. It can go up to one ohm, uh, but if it starts going over one ohm, then you've got a problem. So that one is absolutely fine in regards to resistance. So let's test the next one. Again, feed on the end, and then off the body. Okay, there we go. So straight away, if you can see that there, we have got 52.4 ohms of resistance. Um, so that is no good. Like I said, anything over one, even stretching it to one and a half ohms of resistance, anything over that is considered a bad plug. Moving on to the next one. So this one is 9.4 ohms. So again, anything over one and a half is the dud. Fourth cylinder. Okay, again, yep, there we go. Jumping up to 21.1 ohms there. That is no good. And the last one. Okay, so I don't know if you can quite read that, but on the actual digital uh, multimeter, we've got a small K next to the O to uh, next to the ohm reading. Now that actually stands for kilo ohms. So that is actually four and a half thousand ohms of resistance. So that is way through the roof. So effectively, just by doing a resistance test, we actually have four out of five dud glow plugs. So that will more than likely be the cause of our fault codes in the ECM and why it's bringing up that message. But the fact that we've got four codes and we've got four dud glow plugs straight away as a maintenance part that we expect to replace at some point, we're gonna go ahead and replace all the glow plugs. However, for belts and braces, now this is a good test. Um, it's a little bit of a dangerous test, so be careful. Um, if you've got a jump pack lying around, this is a really good uh, way of testing the glow plugs and actually seeing if they work and if the tips actually light up and start to glow. Um, so all you're gonna do is very carefully, if I just swing this around, you are gonna get the positive side of the jump lead and attach it to where the feed would be. 
and you're going to get the negative and you're going to create a circuit. Electricity will flow through the glow plug and hopefully heat up the end of the tip. Okay, there we go. I hope you can see that. And that is glowing away. So take it off straight away. Once you know that it is glowing, then you can turn it off and then that will start to cool down. Now be very, very careful. Now I've got a bit of wood here as well. I'm just going to place it on there so I don't burn anything. So that was the first one, that was cylinder one. So that one that we knew was absolutely fine. That had, uh, I think, 0.5 of an ohm. Um, so I expected that one to light. Um, so moving on to cylinder two. And let's see if we can get the same result. Okay, straight away, I got no spark. Um, nothing's happening, nothing's heating up. So we can confirm that that is a dud. So that's cylinder two is a dud. Cylinder three, same result. Nothing happening whatsoever. That is also a dud. Now it was only cylinder one, which was good from the resistance test. So I expect all of these to be bad. Again, nothing is happening there whatsoever. So that was cylinder four. And the last one, cylinder five. Can we make it four for five? Yep. Absolutely nothing happening there whatsoever. Um, don't get me wrong, I have seen some parts where it's had high resistance, but you put a jump pack to it and it does still heat up, but very, very slowly. Um, but at the end of the day, if anything is over one, one and a half ohms of resistance, then that is definitely a dud plug or definitely one that is on its way out. So in this respect, we are going to order a set of five in, although one's working, it's always good practice to replace them all, um, particularly how potentially difficult they can be to get out and get to. Um, so on that note, I'm gonna order five in, get this done for the customer, and that hopefully should resolve our issue with the um, engine service message coming on. Okay guys, and there we go. There are a couple of ways of testing glow plugs to see if they are working. Now this is definitely something you can do yourself by all means, take care, take your time, and make sure you're wearing appropriate protection. Now on that note, I am Adam Green for Green Auto Services, and if you've liked what you've seen today, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Many thanks, and we will see you in the next video.